Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jim Grimes. And I'm Liz Kidantes. The Port St. Lucie Police Department announcing the arrest of a man they say is a member of an organized Colombian theft ring targeting Asian business owners in Florida. Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Huberman has more details into the theft ring and how much authorities believe has been stolen. Dylan? Police say the man stole a safe, $10,000 in cash, and several pieces of jewelry from a Port St. Lucie home back in November. But they believe he is a small part in a big operation. After months of investigating with multiple agencies from here all the way down to Miami, seven people are now behind bars tied to what they're calling a Colombian South American theft group. Police arrested 26 year old Angel Alejandro Rojas Morales after he was caught on camera going after a home on Southwest Addy Street. A few blocks east of the turnpike before the camera feeds were supposedly blocked by some sort of interference technology. They use a lot of sophisticated equi equipment uh, to kind of jam our radios, do different things I haven't really heard of before. So it's a very sophisticated group and there must be a lot of money involved in this type of activity. Police say the criminals did extensive surveillance, even putting GPS trackers on victims' cars to know they weren't home including in this particular burglary, where a safe $10,000 cash and jewelry were stolen. But Rojas Morales appears to be a small part of a bigger picture, put together by multiple law enforcement agencies down south. And it all started from the description of this Kia. We were able to put this together, and they were actually able to break up an even larger ring uh, down south where about seven people were charged, including our suspect. He actually admitted to coming across the border illegally in Texas, going to New York, and was actually recruited to come down here and do these type of burglaries where they, where they target uh, Asian Americans. PSLPD detectives questioned and took Rojas Morales back to the county from Doral, where he was arrested with several others during another in-progress crime. A woman who lives down the street from the burglarized Port St. Lucie home. That was very scary. Like, I did not imagine that for our neighborhood because what we were told that this neighborhood was very safe. Very disturbing because um, for me, my parents are Caribbean, so like, that could happen to us too as Haitians. But could these arrests be a part of something even bigger? We've had Asian American business owners targeted before back in 2022. We've arrested suspects in those cases. They happen to be from South America as well. So maybe it is part of something larger. We're going to have to go back and look at that. Police aren't sure exactly how many crimes this group has committed overall, but they do know that Rojas Morales is in the St. Lucie County Jail on an ice hold and won't be committing any more. In Port St. Lucie, Don Huberman, CBS 12 News.